my name is Case, and welcome to another Right Brain tutorial. So, uh, if you watched my last tutorial, I was uh, showing you an alternate way that you can use to bring your camera moves and uh, nulls and other positional data from Houdini into After Effects. So you can kind of add some additional kind of cool little uh, post-production uh, effects. And as promised, I wanted to show you yet a third way. So in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to do it by going through the Cinema 4D Lite that comes with the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. Um, however, in this video, I'm going to show you this third way to do it, and we're going to use Blender, or as one of my favorite uh, YouTube uh, tutorial authors calls it, Blender. Uh, so, um, Blender, if you're not familiar with it, is an open source uh, CG application, very similar to Houdini, and it's really powerful, and if you're not familiar with it, you should definitely familiarize yourself with it. If you know uh, Blender and you know Houdini, there's basically no limit to what you can do. So without further ado, let's, um, let's kind of use Blender to kind of get our Houdini data into After Effects. So um, I have the same scene uh, as the previous tutorial. It's uh, my, uh, my camera move that just kind of dollies around this um, column. And uh, what we're going to do is like the first step is we need to export all of our uh, objects, right? And last time we used uh, the FBX um, format. And this time we're gonna use Alembic. I personally prefer Alembic. There's, uh, it's a lot better featured kind of interchange format. Um, it contains a lot more information. There's a lot less guesswork. And uh, one of the things that I really like about Alembic is that um, you know you don't have to like really worry about like uh, you know incorrectly set up like uh, frame rates or size or anything like that. It seems to kind of like basically be smart enough. To translate all that stuff automatically for us, which I like a lot. So let's export using Alembic. Um, and the first thing it's going to ask me is where do I want to save the file? I'm just going to put it on my desktop right now and I'm just going to call it uh, h2ae underscore Alembic. And I'm just going to put the ABC extension, which uh, is what uh, is the standard kind of uh, Alembic um, file extension. So I'm going to click accept and then uh, I'm going to um, export with like uh, the take, the current take, uh, which I'm not using takes in this particular session. Um, valid frame range, just make sure that uh, this defaults to export current frame. So if you only export it this way and then you bring it into Blender and you wonder why your camera is not moving, it's because you just exported one frame. So we want to change this to export frame range, which uh, correctly identifies my um, sequence to go from uh, you know, uh, from frame one to frame 120, and that's it. And uh, the only other thing, it's uh, it's asking like, what objects do I want to uh, export as part of my um, Alembic file? And uh, this uh, asterisk uh, just simply means export everything. So this is really nice. And as I said, there's no other settings. This is a lot simpler than uh, the FBX export. So we don't have to worry too much about that. So I'm just gonna click export. And that's it. I think we're done with Houdini. So let's go out of Houdini. And on my desktop, you'll see that we actually generated this ABC file. Uh, here's another cool little thing. Uh, if I uh, hit my spacebar, at least on the Mac in OS X, uh, you actually get a preview of my animation. So this is kind of neat. Um, so the Mac uh, OS X recognizes automatically the Alembic file. And it's actually showing me not only what the geometry is in the file, but also what the animation is uh, with the camera. So this is kind of cool. All right, so um, let's bring it into Blender so that we can then use Blender to uh, bring it into After Effects. So I'm gonna launch uh, Blender. As I said, uh, if you guys are not familiar with it, I'm gonna post a link. Uh, sorry, my dogs are going crazy upstairs. Um, I'm gonna post a link uh, in the description of the file below that's gonna tell you how you can download it. It's available for uh, Mac OS, uh, Windows, and Linux, so it's uh, pretty much to cover all the bases. Okay, so this is Blender, and um, you know it's it's a pretty kind of familiar kind of setup. Uh, uh, the thing that I find kind of annoying actually about Blender is that it automatically um, uh, defaults to um, creating like a camera, a uh, which is this object right here, a cube and a uh, point light. So I want to get rid of all the three of these ob objects. So in the right side here. Uh, I'm just going to highlight camera, cube, and light, and then uh, I'm going to go into my uh, uh, you know, layout window, and I'm just going to hit uh, X on my keyboard, and that's going to bring up this uh, little um, 
uh, box that says delete and I'm just going to hit enter or return and that's going to delete these objects So, because I want to work with like a clean kind of slate. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go under file and I'm going to uh, import and uh, under import I'm going to pick Alembic and I'm just going to guide it to my desktop and I'm going to pick the file that we just generated h2ae underscore alembic and I'm just going to say import alembic so here we are and uh, if I want to look through my camera just to make sure that my uh, my scene imported correctly I'm just going to hit this little icon right here which toggles the camera view uh, so now we can see exactly what the camera is seeing and if I hit play I should see exactly my animation the way it was in Houdini and it is and everything came in perfectly so great so what do we do now now we're gonna export from Blender to go into After Effects and if we go under File and we go under the Export menu we're gonna start looking here uh, for something that says After Effects and I'm not seeing anything right that is because Blender needs some additional add-ons to enable some uh, you know some kind of specific feature such as export into After Effects and right now the add-on is not installed into Blender so we need to install this add-on now if you do a Google search like I did to try to kind of figure out okay how do I install a Blender add-on uh, the instructions are pretty easy typically you go under the edit menu you uh, pull up your preferences and your preferences you'll see uh, that there's this add-on tab right here and then uh, basically what they say is like hey just kind of type After Effects um, and you'll find it and just enable it well that's not true actually they lie um, it turns out that uh, for some reason the After Effects add-on uh, After Effects export I should say add-on used to be part of Blender originally and now for some reason it's been like kind of taken out so um, it still exists and I'm gonna show you where to go and get it but uh, but it's not as easy as some other tutorials might uh, kind of make it seem so let's uh, get out of there and uh, let's go into our Safari browser or whatever browser you're using and I'm gonna put a link to this um, you know to get this particular extension but basically I had to Google to find um, some um, additional kind of developer page that has I don't know I guess like kind of like add-ons that maybe the blender foundation uh, doesn't feel is uh, I don't know like kind of tested enough or like uh, official enough so they don't include it automatically so we're gonna have to like download it and install it ourselves um, and uh, it's it's not that complicated but you only have to do it once okay once you install it it will live in blender forever so like this is just something that you have to do this one time so uh, as I said I'm gonna post a link um, to uh, to where to go get uh, this uh, particular add-on uh, so I'm on this uh, page and uh, and this is like kinda like a bunch of add-ons that uh, developers you know this whole open source community has been creating and we're gonna find the one that says uh, IO export after effects dot PI okay so when I click on it it opens up this page and um, in this page we have basically like access to the entire codes if you're kind of curious about to see what is actually kind of happening behind the scenes but we don't really need this what we want is the actual the full script that we can then kind of install uh, into blender so to access that you want to hit this raw file button right here so I'm gonna hit it and I'm just gonna click download file and basically it's gonna download my file um, so let's go back into blender and we want to install this uh, add-on into Blender. So the way we do it is once again we go under the edit under preferences, uh, make sure that you're in the add-on tag and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this button right here that said install. So I'm gonna click install and I'm just gonna guide it to my desktop and I'm just gonna point it to this um, Python script that we just downloaded and I'm just gonna say install add-on and uh, we're not done yet okay so now it's brought in this additional add-on so that we can actually kind of see it uh, in uh, in our add-on list but it's not enabled yet so I'm just gonna click this little checkbox to make sure that it's enabled and that's it and uh, so you know make sure that the checkbox is enabled because I made that mistake before and then I was like how come it's not showing it you have to enable the checkbox uh, just click and install is not enough so that's it that's all we have to do and if I go under the render file uh, under the file menu right now and I go under export uh, we should see that it's added this Adobe After Effects 
this to me is actually kind of like I don't know it just seems more efficient and more elegant way of doing this so anyway so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're just gonna select this option right here and we're just gonna let's put it on the desktop once again and I'm just gonna call it the same thing that I called uh, my uh, alembic file I'm just gonna call it h to ae underscore um, well, let's call this one blender blender <laughs> Sure, why not? Uh, that's it. Just uh, make sure it, it, it includes the animation, active camera, uh, selected cameras, selected objects, everything. And if you notice right here, I have all my stuff selected. So uh, that's it. Export to Adobe After Effects. So we're done with Blender now. We can exit out of Blender. And uh, as we can see, it's generated this uh, cool little JSX file. So now we're going to bring this into After Effects. So let's launch After Effects. So the way we're going to bring that file into After Effects, uh, here I'm just going to bring in like this uh, window so you can kind of see like my file layout in After Effects, is we're going to go under the File menu and we're going to go under Scripts and we're going to say Run Script File. If you remember from my first original tutorial, uh, this is exactly what we had to do when we were using the Orbolt uh, add-on for Houdini. So we're going to basically do the same thing. So uh, Run Script File, uh, File, and I'm just going to say Open and it's gonna ask me what do I want to call it I can call it whatever I want but in this particular case uh, yeah, blend blend comp is fine it's just gonna hit OK and you will see that it's created a comp for us and it's created some solids so if I double click on the blender composition uh, here let me get this out of the way so we have a little bit more space now you can see that uh, what came in was um, exactly what we wanted which is um, my camera move and uh, there's a couple of nulls. One is representing the grid, the floor that I had in my Houdini scene. One is representing the actual column, which is also kind of situated at the same origin point as the floor. That's why you can't really see it. And then uh, the light that we uh, kind of placed, um, you know, if we wanted to add like an additional kind of lens flare or something like that in that particular location. So now if I go under file and I import my um, EXR sequence uh, and I drag this in here, what we should see here is these nulls sticking exactly to my column, which they do. Uh, the, the refresh is a little slow, but but the, the but it's actually doing exactly what we wanted it to. So uh, so that's it. And then um, as I said, like if you watch my previous tutorial, you can kind of see how we can add like you know some stars in the background. We can add like lens flare, uh, all that kind of stuff. But basically, this is a third option that you have to be able to bring in. Houdini specific um, camera moves and uh, positional nulls and other data into After Effects, um, you know, through Blender this time. So thank you for watching and see you next time.